My name is Kevin Gross. I'm the author of a book. It's an autobiography of my life. It's called Dope. But what does a person do dope from the years of 1979 to 1999? I pulled up some facts off the internet and between 63 and 67 percent of kids who become runaways, prostitutes, commit suicide, or turn into drug addicts is because of sexual abuse. Now, back when I was three to five years old, I was sexually abused by my uncle, who was a sheriff in Davis County, Utah. Back then, you could not you could not approach somebody even your parents and tell them what had happened because back then in those days people really didn't think much about it but these days it's everywhere sexual abuse on children is just outrageous myself i turned to drugs to try to bury the pain to try to cover it up at first, it was just partying with your friends, going to parties, doing smoking pot, little things like that. But then it got way out of hand. Let me read you the preface of my book. It says, if you look in the Webster's New World Dictionary for the definition of dope, the first meaning is narcotic or drug. The second meaning is stupid or an ignorant person. The street meaning for the word dope is cool or badass. At various points in my life, I have been all of the above. This is a true story about my life in the drug world. I'm not here to glorify the use of drugs or the selling of drugs, though it may seem that way at times. Many people have probably experienced a lot of the same shit that I have, but how many have lived to catalog their lives in hell? I did not sugarcoat or cut any corners. This book is unshamefully raw and contains very graphic material, maybe too graphic for some people. This book spends a lot of time in the Dallas, Texas area in the early 80s. Texas was the methamphetamine capital of the United States, and if you were getting the strongest, most powerful meth through North Texas, I could almost guarantee it passed through my hands before it hit your veins. I have shared some of my experiences in the dope world with people that I know and trust. Every one of them urged me to write a book to tell the world about these experiences and to show just how easy it is to fall into the drug world. I have lost a lot of good friends throughout my years of dealing and doing dope, so I hope those of you who read this book can take my story to heart especially the young people. The dope world is cruel when you fall into it. For some people, there is no escape, only death. Just remember, as a doper, you are not only hurting yourself, but also hurting people who love you. Believe me, I know. This book was not written to incriminate or embarrass anyone. Some of the names were changed just for that reason. This book is basically for parents who have teenage kids, which I have. Yes, it is very graphic. And my purpose of writing this book was not to make a lot of money. It was to get the word out to parents to show signs of kids who are falling into this world. I understand that there's a lot of parents out there who don't think that their child would do drugs. My mom thought the same thing. But, as you can see in my book, I got in touch with the Dallas court systems and I got all my arrest records, my prison records. I went to prison three times because of drugs and I got 10 felonies. Signs are your kid's depression um, starting to fade away from the family. Watch what kind of kids that they're hanging out with, basically. 
um, things of that nature. I know a lot of you have looked into this and I'm glad that you have, but some of you haven't because you think that your kids are little angels, but don't let them fool you. But now back to the book. This book starts out from my very first hit off a joint all the way to the very end of my last shot of cocaine that I did in 1999. It tells you step by step how I got started, people that I met, situations that I got myself into, getting arrested all the times that I did and how it all ended, which ended well because I'm still alive, which I shouldn't be. At the very beginning of it, I really didn't believe that there was a God. But now I know that there is, or I wouldn't be alive because there's no reason for me to be alive. I tried committing suicide just to get over the pain of what I went through when I was a child. Some kids just, some kids will bury their heads. Some kids will go out and commit mass murders because they're too afraid to tell people about what happened to them. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying that there are a few that probably went through that stage. You can purchase this book on Amazon and if you go onto my Amazon seller's account, you can buy the paperback, you can buy the hard copy, or you can download it on any electronic device. You can read some of the comments that um, people have posted on there. It's a, got four and a half star rating, and on Barnes and Noble, it's got a five star rating. So a lot of people's told me that they've got to the point when they start reading this book that they just can't put it down because of all the mess and crap that I went through dealing dope and all that shit. So I hope and pray that some of you will take all of this into heart and absorb it and think about it, especially you parents and you younger kids because it's, it's not bullshit. It's the real thing. So think about it before you start messing around with this shit. Because it ain't no good. It takes you nowhere but to hell. And hell's not a good place to be. If you want to purchase my book, go to Amazon, to the book section, and just type in Dope by Kevin Gross. Or you can go and order it from Barnes & Noble or you can download it on any electronic device. I hope a lot of people of you take this to heart and absorb it, because it's not bullshit. It's got the court records, it's got everything. This book is not full of shit. It's the God's truth. And I hope it does you all some well.